This video will take you through setting up Outlook Express with your email address. To start with, of course, open Outlook Express. We'll set this up as an example using info at chiliwebsites.com as the email address we're going to set up. But of course, you'll need to replace chiliwebsites.com with your domain name and also the info at with any changes. So it might be, you might be Jim at joesplumbing.com, in which case you'd need to replace the info with Jim and the chiliwebsites.com with joesplumbing.com. So bear that in mind on each step. Firstly, go to Tools, then down to Accounts, click on Accounts, click on Add. Likely this will all be blank in here, but click on Add, and then select Mail. In the box it shows up, it asks for your name, so just type in your name as you'd like it to appear there. I'll type in my name. That's going to be the, the name that will show up in people's email account when they see an email from you. Click on Next. Enter your email address. So here I'm going to put in info at chiliwebsites.com. Obviously, you'll replace that with your email address that you're setting up this account for. Click on Next. Now, by default, this should be set to my incoming mail server as a POP3 server, which is correct. Put in mail.yourdomain.com. In my case, it's going to be mail.chiliwebsites.com. It may also be a .com.au if your website is joesplumbing.com.au, for example. Now, the outgoing mail server, you're going to need to get from your ISP. That might be Big Pond, it might be Optus or IINET in Australia, in America. Um, not actually sure of <laughs> of what ISPs you might be using. But basically, you need to get your outgoing mail server from your ISP. So, um, for example, with us, we use IINET. So it's going to be mail.iinet.com.au. And this will be provided to you when you set up your account with them. You'll get an, you'll typically get an email address. Um, ours, I think, is chiliwebsites at iinet.com.au. That's just our ISP that provides the internet connection into our offices. So enter that server there, click on next. Uh, here we type the account name and password your internet service provider has given you. Now this is the actual account name for the email address you're setting up. So it's info at your domain dot com or, or jim at your domain dot com or whatever it might be. So in this case it's info at chiliwebsites dot com and enter your password which is the password either we provided with you or you provided to us to set up for your email account um, I believe I got ours right I'm not sure um, and that's it click on presumably you want to remember the password so tick on that and then click next it says you've successfully set it all up so we click on finish now Select the before we do finish. Select the account you've just set up, which will be at the bottom if there was more than one already set up. So we just highlight that and then click on properties. What that does is it just shows us everything about this account. Now we can see we got the mail server name there. We got our name. You can enter your company name here, or it might be your own individual name. And if you don't enter a reply to address, um, it'll just use the default address. So you can leave that blank. Include this account, you'll probably leave that ticked. Now the main thing we need to do is go and click on the servers tab up the top here. Um, you'll see again, this is where you can adjust your settings, but they should be right. If you didn't get your outgoing mail server correct from your ISP, um, this is where you can change it. Now your incoming mail server should be set to your domain. It should be set to, um, the account name should be info at your domain .com or whatever the email address you're setting this up for is, is that full email address is the account name. And then of course your full password in there. Um, now down here, we need to tick on outgoing mail server. You're gonna to need to tick on my server requires authentication because what we need to do is set up the username password for your outgoing mail server. And what that is, is it's the typically the email address and the password that your ISP has provided for you. In this case, our ISP is IINET. So we need to set, click on my server requires authentication and then click on settings. 
and it brings up this box and we need to click on log on using not this we don't want to use the same settings as the incoming mail server so here the account name in our case is chili websites at iinet.com.au it typically is the full email address it may be something different with some ISPs and then of course the password they provided us which I believe I know and again we'll tell it to remember the password we don't need secure password authentication typically if your ISP specified it you may but it's very rare so typically leave that unchecked and we'll click on OK and then we are finished. So now we just click on apply, which will apply all those changes we just made. Click on OK. The account set up in here. Now if it's your first account, it'll be set to default. As you can see, this account is here. If it's not your first account and you want it to be your default account, you just highlight it and click on set as default over here. And then we're finished. So we just can go close and you're done. Now you can send receive email without Look Express.